set of the group. Today we take you to the Mora World Tour, where the Jami Youth Group, Marigo Ina Market and Digital Movers Kenya took it to the streets in marking the World Environmental Day, which is celebrated every year on the 5th of June. My name is Primi John Zuma, I'm the co-founder of Super Green Kenya and also the social justice working group GBV convener. What, what we do as to Green, we put indi indigenous ideas to work so that people in poverty could change the world. I'm Gatiori William, I'm from Dandara, Ward 2. Okay, um, today we have a, an, a world environmental cleaner. My name is Javan, also known as Japan the Poet. I'm a community leader, artist, and entrepreneur from Dandora. I'm a member of Dandora Community Justice Center and also a member of the Justice Center's working group in charge of arts for social justice. I'm a David Njoroge. I'm a Kenyan evangelist. I'm a Jamiko. I'm a Dandora Facebook. I'm a Jamiko. I'm a Dandora Facebook. Barabarayachi. Barabarayachi. I'm a Dandora Facebook. So we talk Dandora area Marigoini. Na i Marigoini yetu tuko na tuko na youth groups from different courts. So tuko na hot staff, tuko na digital movers, Marigoini youth initiative that tuko na jamii kote. Mimi naitwa Francisco Ambui. Nimetoka Dandora phase 2. Youth group yangu ni jamii youth group. Wazina ni Victor Ngamate. Yama Mrasta. Mimi ni member wa group inajiita Digital Movers Marigoini. We met with several uh, youth groups and uh, youth initiatives and we highlighted several problems and we came up with the solutions to the problem. So today, uh, being 5th World Environmental Day, we actually went to the streets and implement these solutions that we came up with. We had uh, three initiative uh, uh, groups who came together uh, uh, through a joint collaboration to clean up the community. Uh, I am here because, first of all, today is World Environment Day. For me, it's a passion. And, uh, Neza Sema, Usafi ni kitu moja maana kwa life, na kwa kwa kila mtu. Today being uh, a day that we celebrate our environment, we are connected here with a group of over 100 youths from uh, three youth groups who saw that it's wise to do a cleanup. And doing a cleanup is part of saving the environment because biodiversity is big. We have to reduce the carbon emissions, we have to make sure that our rivers are clean, and more than all, to just make sure that our environment is clean. So I joined this week to do a cleanup and also to motivate and be part of today's celebration. Leo tulia mwa kama yuko mano wa jamii kwa kushika na hizi kote zingine ziko hapa karibu kujaribu kusafisha mtaa yetu unaona ndio sasa kwa maana unaona leo kuna activity mingi around us so siku mwana leo tuamke kwa hiyo ile ni chafu at least tusafishe mitaro kwa kwa tamaka cha cha then of the day tu tumeparticipate kwa hii celebration ya leo Leo tumejitokeza kwa wingi sana mpaka wale ni majirani zetu hapa ambao si wana youth wetu na tumefurahia pia tumesaidiana na upande wa kusafisha kote. Leo ni 5th of, 5th of June na hiyo tunajua ni World Environmental Day. Saka group tuka decide tufanye kitu na tukaamua tufanye clean up e, na leo ndo tumekuwa na clean up moja kubwa tumekuwa tunataka ili yetu ikaipoa. Tumeunga na kaa group zote za group za face 2 marigoine Tukafanyo clean up ikiwa, ikiwa pamoja yeah. What motivated me is I saw a drive in the youth That they also see the need to keep the environment clean And also as a leader I feel I am obliged to be part of the things that are happening We can't say and not do So I'm driven by seeing the action is done And I'm happy that it happened and we are still going to keep it safe. We also bring people together in bold collaborations. 
uh, and efforts to work together to solve uh, different kind of problems in the informal settlements. Through innovation, especially, we are working really on, we are working on focusing on mentoring new ideas to work so we can bring change to the community. The challenge is as easy as possible because we have to come 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 to Mimi personally, mimi ni garbage collector. Kwa hivyo risk mimi napata kwa nazo mingi sana. Chupa inakatwa, unapata saa zingine umeshika kipamba, unaona? Sasa hizo una gloves, sasa unaona? Sasa mimi naweza sema tunaweza tunaweza hitaji vitu mob sana. Kama hiyo job ya garbage collection, una unahitaji una protective gear, gambo tunahitaji, tunaingia boma, boma ni mali kuna matop, matop. Pia gloves una handle eh, trash mingi sana waste nyingine hadi wewe uko comfortable lakini juu tumejitolea tuna 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 tuna, tuna deal nayo unaona kila mtu alifika on time and then cooperation imekuwa so good hakuna kuvutana kwa wase wewe ndio mse choka hapa kusikia kazi coordination ni so poor alafu hakuna kuna mvutano wamejua mimi mka leo tumeamkia kasi na wanataka kazi poa rules za wanaume zina affect environment juu kiangalia pande moja sisi wanaume pia tunachangia ku kulita environment kuchafua environment tunaona kali tunalita sana unaona but atukui responsible na kuchukua kufanya hizo vitu tunaona hiyo shughuli ni za wanawake sisi tunaona roots zetu ni tofauti 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 sana sasa ni kabla uambie mwanaume afanye hiyo kit afanye usafi na kuwa ni hard time sana juu na jua role yake ni tofauti sana kwa society mambo na usafi labdu jaribu madem ile kitu tu ningeomba ni kama tunaweza pata mtu anaweza kuwa anatupatia tools hata kama tu anatukopesha sasa zile tunataka kufanya usafi kitu kingine pia inatulemea ni kama sasa tukishatoa hizo uchafu kwa barabara tunashindwa nani atatubebea tuna kitu ya kubeba tuko tu na mkokoteni peke yake na mkokoteni hezi tosha kubeba hiyo takataka yote imetoka kwa mtaro but tunapata tuna tools enough yet to send man power ni mob So first of all to be going to scatter from shows kuna crime sikuo of which ni maspeds ma brooms ma reflectors but see enough ome to help ndio but ni kia so nataka the main challenge ni tools tunapata tuko na watu wako wengi but tools ni so unapata kazi na vutana sana just because hakuna tools but watu ni wengi so that's the main challenge the one challenge that i think i've encountered is that not everybody still believes that it's their responsibility second is that the youth that are doing um, you know are not so much empowered with the tools that they can use to do this over and over but as a person also the challenge that i see is that people are somehow ignorant of what they should be doing for example people should litter anyhow but not everybody takes this to action and that is what takes us back we clean today we do it tomorrow and it's the same repetition so with these youths we are going to take the conversations home and make sure that we do it from the outside hizo speed za kuingia ndani ya mtaro watu kwa nazo inapo so imebidi tujaribu kutafuta 1 2 3 na azikutosha but tumengangana nazo tu iko ziko tunapitia challenge nyingine kwa upande ya hiyo hewa ya huku na jeni dandora kuna dump site dump site kubwa Nairobi kwa huku sasa so, unaona kuna hiyo challenge ndio tulikuwa tunataka kama youth si tunataka area yetu tu ipande miti tupande maua ndio tunajua mali kuna miti kuna pizkoa eh pande maua kuka smart nataka hiyo area yetu ikae kaga den of den ile ya bible tungepata mtu anaweza tusa kutuletea miti tunaweza panda tuko na place za kupanda hizo miti ni vile hatuna tukapata miti zile unajua miti pia inasaidia na environment So inaweza tusaidia sana kwa zuweza pia kwa mazingira safi kwa sababu kama sasa dam site ikiwa tu hapa karibu na sisi hiyo mshi pia si mzuri na inatu affect sisi wote. Imta yetu ni Dandora. Kuna mambo mob sana unaona. Sasa riski ya kwanza tunapata kuna ile competition kuna watu wafurahi wakiona mayuti wamejimobilize kuna watu wanaona kani threat 
ati kuna venye wanaona tunataka ku take over juu kuna zile miradi pia tunataka kufanya kama group sasa hiyo ni threat ya kwanza upande ya challenges tuna challenges za tool sana juu tunaona kama hiyo clean up kwa tunashughulikia hiyo mtarobiki hapo tunahitaji tu spoa sana na kwa sasa hivi tunapata tuna tools zingine ni week tunaenda kufanya kitu imetokana tena tools ni kidogo as as it to members uh, men uh, are discriminated that is a funny question you unaweza unaweza sema wanaume hawezi discriminate hiyo lakini kuna mjamaa atakupata unafagia sikio umeanza kutangaziwa hiyo ni kazi ya wamama hiyo hiyo haifai kufanya hiyo kazi nini ama pate unafanya kitu kingine yenye haija associate hiyo na hiyo agenda yako unapata una unaambiwa eh hey, achana hiyo kazi hiyo kazi ni mama ni mama sasa hii tumeshikana vijana na wanawake lakini bado kuna vile kuna wale wanaona tufai kwa tunafagia kama sasa wanaona wasitena wanaweza fagia lakini kwa upande mwingine wanaona pia haifai wanasema vijana ndi wanafanya hiyo kazi hiyo vitu sasa tumeshikana si wote vijana na wasichana mimi nenye tunakuwa discriminated sana juu one thing kaki jana umeshika kifagio hiyo eh? tu tayari utapata tu kuna watu tu wanaanza kukemea rada yako unashika kifagio umeshakuwa mama hiyo huku kwa society yetu watu wanachukulia kae kazi ya mama ni kazi ya certain gender lakini sisi kai group yetu tunajua ni responsibility ya kila mtu kwa community kwa kisha ni nini safi e, sasa hiyo ndio kitu tunataka ku change kama mwaitu wa digital movers mwaitu wa marigo ina wote tunataka ikuwe responsibility ya kila mtu hadi mtoi mtu mzima hakuna mtu atakuwa na chafu environment sasa kama saa hii vile tumeingia kwa mchara unasikia kuna mtu anakuambia hapana usiingia hapo ufai kuingia kwa sababu wewe ni msichana. Ngoje vijana wakuja waingia na ila hali bado si ati tuko wengi sana na hiyo kazi ni mingi. Sasa inabidi tusaidiane kulingana na vile iko. Sasa ukiingia kwa mtaro unaona eh hey, mtu ana mpaka anakuangalia na shindwa kwa nini huyu msichana anaingia kwa mtaro na ila hali pia kuna vijana lakini tuko less so lazima tufanye hiyo kazi sisi wote. Kama unajua kawaida tandora vijana na shida moja sana. Sijui kuna sijama polisi wetu aliambo sisi ni mwadi wao juu. Anyway polisi anakutana na youthman inakuwa tu ni frakas eh eh hata kikona unafagia kitu yoyote tu yani youth man na police akiona mwa youth man tu mahali atakuja na ubaya sasa si mwa youth wa dando tunakuwa tunapigia shida mob sana kutokana na government juu government haitaki kuwa na sisi ona tuchukulia kama mwadiwa so my message to the youths around the world is that the biggest responsibility lies with you. You in singular, you in a group, you as a movement, you as a family, you have to be part of the change that you want. And to our government, my government and the governments of the world, we have to make sure that the policies that are put across brings more forest cover, save the water catchment area, and also expands the space for people to communicate and save their environment. Because we are the government, and we have to assist the government to do what it can do best. But I am optimistic that tomorrow is a better day if we do the right thing in the smallest way possible. Next, we have Vijana. Kwa sasa hakuna hata hizo kazi. Waneza shikana kwa groups. Waneza shikana kwa groups za pali wanaka. Kwa form group na wanze kufanya usafi. Waishi kwa mazingira safi. Wasingoje mtu watoke na ukwa kuja wambia wakai malipa safi. Awa wawe nyo ndi waneza jieka na usafi. Na watu wakitoka ukwa nyo wana onenye ya watu ni wasafi wamefanya kazi mzuri. Ngetaka Vijana wote wakuwe wanasaidiana na wale watu wanafanya hii kazi uku kwa mtaa yetu wakiona mnafagia pia pia hawa naingia wanatusaidia kufagia wasione tu tuna tuko island ndio maana tunafagia ni hali tu imetupata tuko kwa manyumba sasa ndio maana pia tunajikaza si wote tufagie tuishi mahali pasafi it's all about us this is my youth tuko na ideas tuko na information what is the key to go to kwa ama anyone from any of the change ya world yetu kama sisi wa hapa hatuwezi ngoja mtu wa india kama tukuinie dando so it's all about us and it begins with us na kama youth generally Let's involve ourselves with meaningful stuff. This is my youth. Must to BMC. We to put a chapula. We to put a little mob. We to put a fake house. This is a corona. We to put a And then as I do to my youth watching. Also, when the corona is over, but after that, we have to do some more things. But it's better to keep safe than to say sorry but die. Message to my youth. 
kitu tunaomba do something fanya kitu ukiwa na passion yako hata hiyo safi ni passion without that one you cannot do anything na mji mjeke into groups mzeka pamoja mjue nini mnafanya na the the way mnafanya hizo story na clean up mtajua mtajua nini nini mnahitaji ama nini amhitaji kwa life yetu as a youth message yangu kwa my youth ni the time yetu eh si ndio future si ndio okay na kile kitu wenye mtu ufanya kwa life unaifanya nga ndio kesho yako ikuepo eh kwa hivyo sisi juu si ndio kesho si ndio tunamata eh sisi tu amuke to rise Rona sai around the world kila mahali mwa youths wana rise eh, hata sisi huku tuna rise tunajua sai ni revolution time mwa youths wasikubali kulala ama budao wanataka kukatalia kwa hizi viti lakini usikubali time yeye imeisha sisi ndio kesho sisi ndio wazazi wake lazima tu rise to make sure future yetu iko poa youths around the world it's your time that seem to be today's agenda as we mark the world environmental day the youth in Marigoine are calling out on all the youth in the world to join in championing against environmental pollution and injustices in our communities. Reporting for Hood TV, I'm Susan Lumumba.